I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege. Your morning news now. Closing arguments are expected today in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, who is accused of killing George Floyd. The jury was not in the room last week when Chauvin said he would not be testifying in his own defense. After those arguments, the jurors will be sequestered for as long as it takes for them to deliberate. Chauvin faces 40 years in prison if convicted of the most serious charge, second degree murder. Dr. Anthony Fauci is indicating the government is likely to resume use of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine this week. CDC advisors plan to meet Friday to discuss the pause in the Johnson & Johnson shot after six women suffered rare blood clotting with one dying. The CDC now says half of all American adults have received at least one COVID vaccine dose. Experts want people to know about the myths surrounding the vaccine, including that the vaccines were rushed and therefore not safe to take. According to Johns Hopkins, while the vaccines themselves were released relatively quickly, the process used to make them is one that's been around for years. In addition, testing data was gathered on overlapping schedules, which does cut down on time needed for approval. A recent study is examining the impact of the pandemic on our weight, with many gaining an average of 29 pounds while staying at home. This is according to the American Psychological Association. About 42% of adults in the United States have reported undesired weight gain from increased stress and bad eating habits caused by the pandemic. Experts say weight gain like this is common in stressful situations. We had a cold front move through overnight after our beautiful weekend. It brought some rain showers and you may see a lingering sprinkle this morning. Otherwise, shouldn't see any worries on that morning commute. Same thing with the evening commute, but just keep in mind it's going to be breezy today. It's going to be cooler. Temperatures are only going to be in the 40s. One person is being treated for smoke inhalation after an Onalaska apartment building caught on fire late Saturday night. The city of Onalaska Fire Department responded to a fire shortly after 11 p.m. in a 16-unit apartment complex on Pinecrest Lane. Fire crews reported heavy smoke conditions in one apartment and evacuated all of the residents while containing the fire to the original source. The building suffered moderate smoke and water damage, but most residents reportedly returned to their homes as of 3 a.m. Sunday morning. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The Vernon Area Rehabilitation Center will show outdoor movies again this summer with Moonlight Cinema, a fan favorite event that started during the pandemic. Each site will play one movie per month on Fridays for a total of eight movies for June to September. Showings will take place at the Viroqua Park Bowl as well as Riverside Park, and all events are being made with the safety of the public in mind. The first show at Riverside Park will take place on June 11th, and the first show at the Viroqua Park Bowl will take place on June 25th. Both of them begin at sundown. An annual milestone is coming up Friday for soldiers at Fort McCoy. The Army Reserve is celebrating its 113th birthday. The reserve makes up about 20% of active soldiers, and they do a large amount of the work in the U.S. Armed Forces. Fort McCoy trains around 100,000 soldiers every year, with most of them coming from the Army Reserves. Black Student Leaders, a group created by local area high school students, is working to create a mural for downtown. The art piece is being made in collaboration with Leaders Igniting Transformation and a local artist. The project, which began last year, is an artistic take on the challenges that students and people of color face within the community. Once it's completed, the painting will travel for display at the La Crosse Public Library, the People's Food Co-op, and the River City Gallery. Well, after a beautiful weekend, a cold front moved through overnight, bringing some rain showers and some changes. Temperatures aren't too bad this morning. Most of us are in the 30s, but we've got a strong northwest wind behind that cold front. So our wind chills, what it feels like, most of us feeling like the 20s. Now, it's not going to warm up a whole lot today. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun, 42 at lunchtime, highs today in the mid 40s. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us and hope you have a great Monday. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.